All right, guys, welcome back to my channel, Cadis Gaming. Welcome back to Mountain Blade Bannerlord. And so it's finally, it's happened, guys. It finally happened. The conspiracy thing has started, that quest there where three factions were going to attack you all at once. They've chosen Valandia, Asari, and Akuze. I don't know if that's the same every time for every person. I'm not sure. But those are the three that are at war with us. We were already at war with the Asari, actually. Valandia. Finally, guys, finally sued for peace. I think they're paying us, like, a good bit of money a day in tribute. So we finally got our just desserts for, for that, for conquesting all over their land and taking half of their land. Now we had the, the Asari at war with us, and then this kicked in, guys. So now we have this meter here with the Valandians, this meter with the Asari, which we are already starting to progress into the green with, and the meter with the Kuzates. Matter of fact, they have a 2,000 in strength still, guys, even though, as far as I know, the last I checked, they still don't possess any castles. So, they're out with 2,000 in strength of army, supposedly wreaking havoc. I still have high security at most of my cities, guys, so it's really hard for their armies to take a bite out of me so to speak unless it's a town thing but I was in here after I just took Hupyar back from the Sari apparently they'd taken it at some point when I was still fighting the Landians came over here prevented them from taking Razi once already came back and took Hupyar now we have this army passing by Shema's army who's on their way to try to besiege Razi which is in this direction guys so we're just gonna boop right out the door here and we're going to chase them down if possible and uh, catch them and try to wipe their little army out uh, successful it's too bad you're in an army there ma'am because if you were not i would try to recruit you as well but long last oh your husband is the leader okay well he probably wouldn't be too impressed with the fact if we have you in our custody now, would he? All right, let's send the men out. Let's see what uh, she's got under the hood here. The Sari have been somewhat bothersome so far in battle. I thought the Valandians were the only ones that were really going to give me. A run for my money short of the Kuzates at the beginning of the game were doing really well so the Asari like to operate like the the Kuzate or the Kuzates do and they like to circle around you with their cavalry of archers their horse archers so we're just gonna try to counter that with archery I mean, it could back up to the end of the map. They're just going to whip around, though. That's good, because literally the end of the map is at the back of us anyways. I don't think we got much further to go. So we have that in our favor as well. I'm going to move infantry to the more center of this hill and go ahead and have them throw their shields up as well. Are they going to move, or are we going to have to march on them? It looks like maybe we're going to have to march on them. Let's see what happens, though, when their scouts return. See what they want to do. Are they moving at all? No. Their cavalry is coming back out, which is totally fine with me. We'll take some more shots at them for sure. Let's scoot these boys up some, shall we? They can match that line, and we can just have cavalry. Just sit right behind them then. Are they moving yet? No. Wasting all this time procedurally, or <laughs> carefully, carefully placing my men. And they're not even, uh, they're not even going to charge. I mean, if they want to keep sending their cavalry out, I suppose. But you know what? I think I've had actually enough of this halting game. Let's just march on, men, shall we? Get a nice little light trot going here. They're going to start moving now. Possibly. Doubt it though. I think the cavalry is just coming back for another scouting. They're going to regret that. 
pretty badly. Not too fun for you, eh? I don't know how we're missing them so much. All right, this hill seems to offer quite an advantage. Hmm, yes, I like, I like how you folks doing today. Uh, how is it going for you? Pretty out, pretty good. Yeah, good, 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 good. good. Just gonna set up here real quick, if you don't mind. And we're gonna shoot at you some. Since you're just gonna stand there. If I were them, I would be charging. <laughs> but I'm not their leader. I don't make their calls. So suppose we'll have them finally chase them down. Let the let the cavalry have a little fun. Doesn't look like they have too many horsemen left right now, so. Alright, their line's finally gonna decide to start moving. This poor fella here just thinks he's gonna... What? What do you think you're gonna do, bud? You're just gonna come up in my line? Yeah. And... Under... I'll let my man do their job. Is this it? Is this all you guys have? Is this all you brought? Ah, uh, yes. Getting spawned in an entire army because we just wiped your first wave completely out. We could sit here in line formation and that would work totally fine for us guys, but seeing how we just chewed through them in two seconds, hmm, it's really bad for them right now, yeah. Um, we're just gonna keep pushing. We're gonna consume them pretty quick. We're already we uh, we we already from almost the instance of charging at them guys. We're outnumbering them. So, and we're near our spawn point. They're obviously near theirs too. So that's odd because we were at the end of the map. All right, we're gobbling them right up. We've got two groups here. I suppose I could try to lower my shield for a moment and get a few strikes in here. Wow, both those arrows just went by that person. Or am I dropping too much? You guys aren't that far away. Do I have invisible arrows? Now they're honing in on me. All right, who do we got behind me? Oh. Um, hello? Hey. Hello, hello, hi. How's it going? You having a nice day? Okay. Jeez. You fellas here, where'd you come from? Where did you fellas come from? Excuse me, could you stop doing that? You missed. You missed, sir. You missed me. I don't really want to go into the pile, but I was awfully close to him. Look at that army coming. It's a beautiful thing. It really is. Alright, they're damn near. They have a sliver of health left, which is all of what they've done in damage to us. <laughs> we can squash these guys. No problem. All right, preserved a little bit of health for the next battle. Just gonna let my men do their thing. Are we moving at all? Kind of almost seemed like we were for a second there. Just kind of chasing after the few stragglers <clears throat> that are left. I went down one. guy chasing somebody. Yeah, it looks like they're running over to somebody here. So some of the desert maps are pretty cool. I, I like the desert area in general. Look at that guys. Look at that broad span. Ooh. <laughs> oh 
we get a we get a screenshot of that one there. Nice. <laughs> That's quite the force we have built. Quite the force. We have what? Eight clans now? Something like that. We've spread the wealth nicely. <clears throat> Everybody's very happy. We're doing well, guys. We're doing very well in our campaign and quest to conquer all of Caloradia. I say cleanse all of Caloradia. I say our faction's the right faction. <clears throat> um, I don't know who she is, but I think I'm going to take you prisoner. And it was only you, and there's no troops. I don't want the prisoners at the moment. We already have so many horses. So many. Um, the only reason we're underweight right now, too, with having just so many horses, guys, is because we're wounded. So we're slower. Alright. So we got Hubyar here. It is very vulnerable. Hmm. I could try camping out here for a little while longer. Maybe I can catch another lord coming by. We could try doing that, possibly. Just just long enough, I suppose, to maybe heal, at least, guys. For a minute. And we'll just kind of downward angle the camera ray. All right, we're just going to wait here for a moment at normal speed, though. And I want to zoom that out as much as I possibly can, actually, so I can see who's going to be passing by. We'll wait for any announcements of anything being sieged, but how many armies do we have formed right now is a good question, actually. We have only two armies formed right now, so I, I don't know if, like... I'm sure we can form more than two, but I can even what now? Can I create a third one? No. Okay. So just there to... That's odd. Then it's even there as a an offering. But yeah, we'll just let time kind of tick here for a second. We'll lick our wounds a little bit. We have... For God's sakes... Actually, we don't have that too many wounded at all, actually. We're just... We're low-numbered, period. But that gave them... I gave Hubyar a little, yeah, look at that. They have 93 now. That gave them a little time to heal. It gave us a little time to heal. We'll give one more pan out. Wait, what? Alright, so yeah, because that's the beginning of their actual faction territory. We've taken back everything they've taken from us. Um, which was really just hubby our guys and then they were working on trying to take Rozzy from us and we, we put them to a stop on that already so that's good so we'll head I don't know which way to head then we could recruit on their end try to rebuild our forces we do have two other factions to consider as well you know what I kind of want to head towards like Dynastica our main our main land and just see what um, the Kuzates are up to, guys. And give us a chance to kind of recruit along the way there. Of course, we've got to get through our own territory that's been looted at the moment. But we can stop, say, at Razi and Dynastica and Onira and all that and, and recruit as well. And maybe even break army for just a little bit so that everybody can go recruit grow in strength a little bit and then we can reform them and continue to fend off these three factions which I'm really not considering too much of a threat honestly like we have enough lords now spread out um, to form multiple armies like if I was to break my army another another one of my lords would form an army so they just did their job Zaleika thank you <clears throat> I believe she's of the Banu uh, Simel, maybe, clan that we recruited. Hagen's always been a candidate, so to speak. Ullman, on the other hand, I wish I could get it on him. Too late now, he's going to pass by. Ullman is a leader of clan, I know that, because I spoke to one of his lords not too long ago. 
All right, how's Rosie doing? Rosie is, well, it's hard to tell right now, but they've got about 400 men in there, so they're, they're working on it. They're definitely working on it. They only got one for us right now, but that's okay. They're, they're kind of hurting. Um, the town's doing good, though. And uh, for you, for you few who are watching this video right now, uh, and you're not sure how the markets work and everything, guys, this is a good key pointer. So when, like, <clears throat> you're starting workshops in guys at a particular town, say Rozzy, for instance, I'm in Rozzy right now, their main, uh, their main talents and exports shows right up here. The shops that are in this settlement are the ones that you should probably open shops for. So like a brewer, they have two breweries. And a wool weaver. So if you were to put a wool weaver in here and a brewer in here, you should probably do pretty good. At least to the extent of this much, guys, is if you were to put a brewery in here, say, versus another city that doesn't have a brewery in it, you're going to do much better with the ones that it's suggesting. They're all different. Each city has their own shops in the settlement type of deal. So now you know that. So that's cool. I can bestow a little bit of knowledge in between this gameplay uh, video. Alright, I'm going to head over here. I know it's been looted, but it's on the way to Dynastica. We're going to head back to the homeland. And I suppose, guys, while we're marching along here, I'll just kind of sign off. <clears throat> and we'll end the video uh, here rather than cut it when I get over there. Um, or... Uh, make you guys have to wait through through me mar marching all the way over there and I could just kind of prep our army and everything guys and uh, get them ready for this uh, big big world war basically is what it's supposed to be and uh, we'll go from there but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel please leave comments if you like uh, any questions I'll get back to you as soon as possible and as always, guys, until next time, we'll see you later.